All right, we're about to kick open the doors on Hollywood's biggest jerks. Grab your popcorn and maybe a pitchfork or two. Ah, Hollywood, the glitz, the glamour, and of course the gigantic egos. From crazy directors to temperamental actors, this section is dedicated to those individuals who somehow managed to take self-importance to a whole new level. Now let's be clear, we're not here to spread gossip or start any feuds, unless you count virtual ones. We're just here for some lighthearted roasting and a little reminder that even in the land of dreams and fiction, people can be real jerks. Whether they were infamous for their diva demands on set, or notorious for alienating their fellow cast members with their overbearing personalities, these towering pillars of jerkitude have left quite an impression on Hollywood history. So strap yourselves in as we dive into tales of tantrums, backstage drama, and all-around jerkiness. We promise it'll be more entertaining than any reality show out there. So sit back and enjoy this bumpy ride through Tinseltown's Hall of Infamy. And remember, folks, although we may love their movies or admire their talent from afar, it doesn't mean we can't have a good laugh at their expense along the way. After all, sometimes even Hollywood's biggest jerks need a reality check from time to time. Ah, the case of Reese Witherspoon, the not-so-sweet American sweetheart. It seems that our beloved legally blonde actress has a bit of a reputation for being self-entitled. Who knew? According to an incident on the road, Reese and her husband were caught weaving in and out of traffic like they were auditioning for Fast and Furious. When approached by an officer, she apparently pulled out the classic line, Do you know my name? You're about to find out who I am. And, surprise, surprise, she ended up getting arrested. But that's not all. A source at Star Magazine spills even more tea on Reese's diva behavior. Allegedly, she terrorizes the staff with her demands and expects everyone to tiptoe around her fragile ego. Rumor has it that she even refuses to take off her sunglasses because she's afraid of making eye contact with peasants. I mean, regular people. Long story short, it seems like behind that sweet smile lies a whole lot of entitlement. Maybe next time Reese should consider skipping the sunglasses and reminding herself that we're all just regular people, even celebrities. Well, 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 it seems like there's a juicy tale to tell about everyone's favorite space captain, William Shatner. Apparently, this beloved star of Star Trek wasn't exactly the most lovable guy on set. In fact, his co-stars had some choice words for him. They say he earned the nickname Captain Jerk for his alleged behavior during his time on Star Trek. And if that wasn't enough, he took it to a whole new level by not even showing up to Leonard Nimoy's funeral. Talk about burning bridges. But hey, every cloud has a silver lining, right? That Comedy Central roast for Shatner must have been quite the cathartic experience for all those stars who've been holding in their pent-up rage for years. I can just imagine them taking turns roasting Shatner while the audience laughed and gasped in equal measure. In the end, it goes to show that even our favorite celebrities aren't immune to a little drama and tension behind the scenes. And let's be honest, sometimes a good roast is just what the doctor ordered. Ah, uh, the world of Hollywood where the stars shine bright but sometimes their personalities dim. Take Mike Myers, for example. We all know and love him as Austin Powers, that shagadelic spy who can't help but make us giggle. But behind that groovy exterior lies a not-so-groovy truth. Apparently Mr. Myers has a penchant for control that could rival Dr. Evil himself. Rumor has it that he's quite the narcissist, and has even been known to fire someone simply for making eye contact with him. Talk about taking shaken, not stirred, to a whole new level. Uh, the result? Hollywood has had enough of his jerkish ways and decided to put an end to his casting reign. Many who have worked with this comedian-turned-dictator have labeled him as insufferable. Ouch. So next time you find yourself watching Austin Powers and laughing along with his hilarious antics, just remember... Behind the scenes, it seems Mike Myers isn't as groovy as we'd like to believe. Oh, behave indeed. Oh, Chevy Chase, the king of comedy, or should I say the king of being less than pleasant. It seems that behind that goofy facade lies a not-so-lovable individual. It's a sad truth to admit, but it appears that Chevy Chase is not exactly everyone's cup of tea. Now, we've all enjoyed his on-screen antics and hilarious mishaps over the years. From his time on Saturday Night Live to his iconic role in National Lampoon's Vacation series, Chevy has certainly given us some memorable moments, but unfortunately it seems that his off-screen behavior hasn't quite matched up to his entertaining persona. It turns out that Chase has acquired a reputation for being a complete jerk. 
Even his co-stars from SNL have openly expressed their dislike for working with him as a host. It seems he has a knack for acting rudely toward everyone and leaving a sour taste in their mouths. And this bad behavior didn't just magically vanish when he left SNL behind. No siree, it followed him like an unwelcome shadow throughout his entire career. Sadly, it seems that even Hollywood couldn't overlook the darker side of Chevy Chase. But fear not. While it may seem like we won't be seeing much more of Chevy on our screens these days, let's take solace in knowing that there are plenty of other comedic talents out there who can make us laugh without leaving such a bitter aftertaste behind. So long, Chevy. May your next venture involve some serious soul-searching and reflection. Julia Roberts, America's Sweetheart? Well, hold your horses. It seems like there's more to the story than meets the eye. According to none other than Steven Spielberg himself, Working with Julia was not all sunshine and rainbows. In fact, he went as far as saying he wouldn't work with her again because she was an emotional wreck on the set of Hook. Ouch. But wait, there's more. The crew even gave her a not-so-endearing nickname, Tinkerhell. I guess being a fairy tale character isn't always magical. And if you thought family would have your back, think again. Julia's own sister claimed that her ego and fame destroyed their relationship. Looks like being America's sweetheart comes at a price, but it doesn't stop there. Let's talk about her co-star Nick Nolte from I Love Trouble. Apparently, they disliked each other so much that they had to film scenes separately using stand-ins. Talk about on-set tension. So it seems like behind those dazzling smiles and red carpet appearances lies a different side to Julia Roberts. Maybe she should consider starring in a movie called America's Not-So-Sweetheart. Sorry, Julia fans, but it looks like even Hollywood can't escape its fair share of drama queens and divas. Oh boy, it seems like Sandra Bullock might have had a bit of a moment here. We all love our favorite celebrities, but sometimes they can surprise us with their not-so-sweet behavior. Now, refusing fans an autograph is one thing. Maybe she was having a bad day or just wanted some privacy, but insulting them? That's a whole different ball game. And when it involves a disabled veteran? Well, that's just crossing the line. It's disappointing to hear about this alleged incident where Sandra covered her face and verbally abused a disabled veteran who simply asked for her autograph. I mean, come on, Sandra, we expect better from you. But hey, let's not jump to conclusions too quickly. Maybe there's more to the story than meets the eye. After all, we don't know what was going on in her life at that moment or what led to such behavior. Regardless, if true, it's safe to say that this incident doesn't exactly paint Sandra Bullock in the best light. Being a celebrity comes with its fair share of fame and fortune, but it also means being under constant scrutiny and having to handle fans with grace and kindness. So let's hope that this alleged incident was just an unfortunate blip on the radar for Sandra and that she can redeem herself by spreading some good vibes in the future. After all, nobody likes a control freak jerk, especially one who insults disabled veterans. <laughs> Well, 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 Tom Cruise, the man with the million-dollar smile and a reputation for being a control freak jerk. It seems even our brave Navy sailors are not immune to his demanding ways. Word has it that during the filming of Top Gun 2, he allegedly went on a power trip and instructed them not to talk or even look in his direction. Now, I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound like the perfect recipe for building rapport with our dedicated troops. Where's the camaraderie? The mutual respect? Maybe Tom needs a crash course in humility. But hey, let's give credit where credit is due. Tom Cruise is undeniably talented when it comes to action-packed movies. But haven't we all had enough? So here's hoping that in the future, Mr. Cruise can remember that our troops deserve nothing but admiration and support, both on and off camera. Move over, Miss Congeniality, because Jennifer Lawrence is here to break the stereotype of nice and famous going hand in hand. While she may be one of the biggest actors on the silver screen right now, it turns out that being nice to fans isn't always at the top of her priority list. Apparently, Jennifer has been notorious for being mean to her adoring fans, but hey, she's not hiding it. In fact, she openly admits that it's a defense mechanism. Maybe she's just trying to protect herself from an army of overzealous admirers who want a piece of her 24 hours a day. Now we get it. Nobody wants to cater to fans every second of their lives. But let's be real here. There's a way to say no without turning into a self-entitled jerk. Maybe Jen could take some pointers from our friendly neighborhood superheroes on how to gracefully decline fan requests without crushing their hearts. 
So next time you see Jennifer Lawrence strutting down the red carpet with that signature sass, just remember, behind that dazzling smile lies a Hollywood truth. Nice and famous don't always go hand in hand. Oh, Tobey Maguire, what a jerk. He may have played the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man on the big screen, but it seems like he forgot all about treating people with basic decency in real life. Imagine being a cocktail waitress just trying to make a living, and this Hollywood star comes along thinking he's some kind of royalty. Instead of leaving a tip like any decent person would, he decides to demean and belittle her by asking her to bark like a seal who wants a fish. Seriously, Toby, that's just low. I guess this just goes to show that being able to act doesn't necessarily mean you know how to be a decent human being. Maybe it's time for Toby Maguire to take some etiquette lessons instead of playing pretend superheroes. Well, 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 it seems like Cameron Diaz is not the friendliest when it comes to signing autographs. It's like she's on a mission to protect her precious signature from falling into the wrong hands. Or maybe she just wants to avoid wrist cramps. But seriously, who even asks for autographs these days? Is it still 1995? I mean, come on, Diaz may have been a big deal in her Hollywood heyday, but now, let's just say there are more enticing celebrities out there for the autograph-seeking enthusiasts. And here's the cherry on top. Not only do you get a no from Diaz herself, but she also takes it upon herself to provide you with an impromptu lecture about why asking for autographs is stupid. Talk about adding insult to injury. There's got to be a better way to decline autograph requests without coming across as Mother Teresa scolding her unruly children. Can't we all just gracefully say no and move on with our lives? So folks, if you ever come across Diaz in public and have that sudden urge to ask for an autograph, maybe think twice. It might save you from getting both rejected and reprimanded by one of Hollywood's feistiest celebrities. Ah, uh, the age-old question, why are the funniest guys often the meanest too? It's like they have a monopoly on both laughter and unpleasantness. But let's pause for a moment and delve into the mysterious case of Ben Stiller. Reports suggest that Stiller's on-screen hilarity does not extend to his real-life persona. Apparently, he has been accused of being entitled. Now, what could be more expected from a superstar actor born into a Hollywood dynasty than a healthy dose of entitlement? In one instance, it is said that Stiller freaked out because there weren't exactly two ice cubes in his Diet Coke. Two? Why not three or 17? Who knows, my friend? Freakouts rarely make any sense. And then there's the peculiar situation where his private assistant must stand guard in his parking spot to ensure no one else parks there. I guess when you're as funny as Ben Stiller, even parking spaces must bow down to your comedic greatness. But hey, let's not judge too harshly. Maybe it takes an impressive level of precision and a sprinkle of eccentricity to reach peak hilarity on the big screen. Or maybe it's just the side effect of all those punchlines going straight to their heads. In any case, if you ever find yourself face to face with Ben Stiller, just make sure you've got exactly two ice cubes in your drink and steer clear of his parking spot. It seems these comedic geniuses have their own rules for laughter and manners. Ah, Christian Bale, the master of onset meltdowns and high maintenance diva behavior. It's no secret that working with him can be quite the adventure. In fact, he's been in the news more times for his freakouts than for his actual movies. One infamous incident that took the cake was during the filming of Terminator Salvation. In a leaked audio tape, Bale can be heard going off on director of photography Shane Hurlbut. Apparently, Hurlbut had made the grave mistake of ruining a take, because clearly that had never happened before in the history of cinema. But let's not forget that Bale is not just a difficult colleague, he's also quite the bully. His verbal assault on poor Hurlbut was nothing short of a spectacle. So while Christian Bale may be an incredible actor on screen, it seems like he has an equally impressive talent for creating chaos and drama behind the scenes. Maybe next time, he should consider taking up method acting as a calm and collected individual. Just a suggestion. Oh, Lucille Ball, the queen of comedy on screen and apparently off screen too. It seems her humor had a bit of an expiration date, as it appeared to end the moment the camera stopped rolling. And boy, was she notorious for being rude to anyone who didn't share her celebrity status. Legend has it that on one fateful airplane ride, Four flight attendants were met with complete and utter indifference from Lucy herself. 
Instead of acknowledging their presence like a regular human being, she had her assistant play messenger and deliver the oh-so-charming message, I'm sorry, she doesn't speak to the help. Well, well, Lucy, I guess fame can really go to your head. But hey, let's give credit where credit is due. At least she had a knack for delivering punchlines on TV. Too bad the talent didn't extend to real-life interactions with mere mortals. Oh, Shia LaBeouf, the poster child for bad behavior in Hollywood. From plagiarizing screenplays to being accused of physical and emotional abuse, he seems to have a knack for rubbing people the wrong way. Let's start with his plagiarism stunt. I mean, who does that? Taking someone else's hard work and passing it off as your own is like stealing someone's lunch from the office fridge and then denying it when everyone saw you do it. Not cool, Shia. Not cool at all. But wait, there's more. FKA Twigs took him to court for allegedly being physically and emotionally abusive. Talk about a real-life horror movie plot twist. It's one thing to be a jerk on screen, but taking that behavior into real life is just plain unacceptable. And let's not forget about his past girlfriends who came forward to support Twigs' claims. When multiple people are saying you're a jerk, Shia, maybe it's time to take a long, hard look in the mirror. But please don't break it. All in all, Shia LaBeouf seems to have mastered the art of being a grade-A jerk both on and off screen. Let's hope he finds some redemption or at least take some lessons in basic human decency. Music